Andrew Magno has been a big part of everything that's going on here at TD Ameritrade Park throughout the week with plenty of emotion, plenty of excitement, and plenty of success for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And he's standing by with Dana Hughes. Well, I positioned myself specifically to be on the golden arm side right here, the left arm of Andrew Magno. Talk about the grit and the determination that you displayed out here. I was going to give it everything I had left. Um, we beat Minnesota, and I told Coach I got 7, 8, 9 for you. Um, I was going to leave it out there. I knew I was going to be the last one on the mound. Um, I knew we were going to win this tournament, and it felt good to, to get out there and grind and, and get one. Um, it's just so, so much hard work, and it's just amazing for it to pay off like that. So a couple of weeks ago, you threw 107 pitches against the Golden Gophers. Talk about your durability and your conditioning and Coach Mike Stafford and how he prepares you guys so you can just continue to rebound and bounce back with the rubber arm. I'm kind of an oddball. Uh, <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I throw pretty much every day, and the coaches don't like it too much. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've just been able to, to stay healthy, and when I need to rehab and get my stuff done, I get my stuff done, and it's just about putting in work, man, and being able to do that and go, you know, back-to-back -back games in the same day and, and grind it out. Uh, that's what this entire season was for. I mean, 108 pitches in seven innings, and then I come back, and it's, you know, midweek and then two games on that weekend and it's just you know building up for for this so yeah. how does it feel that you get a chance to play at least another weekend with these guys the seniors specifically you guys are one of the you know one of a few teams in this tournament that had to win in order to extend their season i love these guys um they work so hard um and we grinded it i, mean, I i'm gonna keep saying we grinded out because that's what we did we had to lose and uh, we, we kept going, but yeah, I love these guys, and I, I love getting to be able to play another weekend with them, and it's going to be exciting. Bucks are hot. The Bucks are hot. What'd you say? You, people don't like when the Bucks you are hot. You don't like it when the Bucks are hot, but the Bucks are hot, so there it is. But we're playing really good baseball at this point, and uh, you had to. This is a tough conference, and it's a tough tournament, and we beat a lot of good teams. And uh, I'm just so proud of how our guys played, my coaching staff, our administration, and Buckeye Nation here to support us. Thank you. Coach, you guys are the lowest seed to ever win a Big Ten tournament title. Talk about just the makeup of this team and how you guys were able just to continue to grind and get production like Magno and offensively just in stellar fashion. Well, coming into the season, we were a very inexperienced ball club. So, and it took us some growing pains, learning, uh, learning roles, learning who we are, learning how we were going to go about playing games. But, uh, you know, we had our backs to the wall the last couple of weeks, so we had to play good baseball to get in this tournament. Um, so unfortunately, we're in that situation, but fortunately, that situation had us ready for, for a tough tournament like this. Coach, I don't know if you remember, but back on May 7th, I called you and prep for the Wright State game. And you were talking about it was fists up mode. You guys control your own destiny. But the biggest part of that interview, I, I thought you said, we got talent. From that point on, after getting swept from Minnesota, you guys went on a run that brings you to this point now. How proud are you for your guys? Oh, I can't even speak to how proud I am of that. And like I told you, we were in fist up mode. I've told these guys from day one in the fall, there's talent here. And we, need just, we needed to learn how we were going to make that talent play for us and how we were going to play clean baseball. Well, congratulations. You get at least one more week with these guys. Good luck the rest of the way. They've earned it. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Dana Hughes is amidst that celebration. He's standing by with Brady Cherry of Ohio State. One of the senior leaders, a senior hero. You were here in 2016. You experienced that. Tell me about a difference between that team and this team in the experience. Um, I don't know. That team, I guess, probably had uh, a lot older guys, a lot more experience. Um, you know, we started off... Um, we got a lot of young guys, and I'm just I'm proud of everybody on the team because, you know how hard they played today and I don't know I can't even describe it right now you talk about how hard guys played bring us to your pitching obviously pitching is premium in this type of tournament and you guys had guys that stepped up time and time again yeah unbelievable um Lonsway came out first game today and um pitch unbelievable especially on short rest and he's a he's a creature of habit so that was I know how tough that was for him um 
And then Griff came out today and gave us an unbelievable start. You know, he's a big game pitcher, and, uh, and then Magno just does what Magno does. He, he came out and uh, held him. So as a senior, if you guys don't win this tournament, you guys, the season is over. Your, your RPI is 131 coming into this game. How important is it that you get to extend your season and you get to play with these guys for a few more days? I think that's what it's all about. It's just these guys, more than anything, is being able to stay with these guys a little bit longer. Um, it's been an unbelievable season, and, um, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. Well, congratulations. Continue on. Right. Good luck next week. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you.